Hello everyone, I'm Denise Love. Here's a little preview of what we'll be doing today. So let's get started. Got a new little art haul for us today. My sketch box came in, my palatful box packs came in, and this is um, October, so it's Inktober. So I haven't even peeked, they're still taped shut. I'm kind of expecting them to have some ink in them. <laughs> <laughs> and I have not peeked at any little cheats or anything, so I'm kind of thinking that it might be ink stuff, which, you know, I like ink stuff too. Let me just, I'm going to go ahead and just cut these tapes while I'm talking. But I like ink stuff too. You know, we do mark making and stuff and get everything. There we go. Okay, so first though, um, I ordered a few fun things that came in. Um, things are what you make of them. Life advice for creatives. I thought what a delightful little book and it's full of yummy advice and just feel good things for creatives. How to get over comparing yourself to other creatives. Admit it. Reflect. Count your blessings. Feel pride. Celebrate. Find inspiration, make new work, and rip out your eyeballs. <laughs> we know we shouldn't, but we compare ourselves to others constantly. Maybe we're telling ourselves it's healthy competition and beneficial for our work. More likely, we know it's just making us miserable. Whether you're deluding yourself or not, I'm here to tell you it's bad. Stop doing it. I've created a simple guide to finally putting an end to this bad habit and finding something positive in the process. Today's the day. We can do this together. So it's full. It's full of yummy little inspiring things to just remind us we're not alone. Stop looking at what others are doing. Be creative stay calm and so i thought what a great little inspirational book and i needed it so i'm really excited to flip through and read that and be inspired some days I also oh, got some new stencils you know i like the damask stencil i was using in some of my pieces recently and i'm like ooh, i think i want more of that so i just found some yummy scrolls and stencils and things um on line that I thought let's give these a try so this one's Tim Holtz Stampers Anon it doesn't have a name what is the name of this one I'll link all these in the video uh, below the video for you though but I thought that was real pretty with the scrolls um, I liked all the flower ones that I've been using where I used this stencil from the crafters workshop um, love this stencil so much that I was kind of looking for some more flowery things and I thought this was pretty fun it looks like lace that one is Dolly Layering Stencil. Maybe this one's under this big warning thing. <laughs> Probably is. Oh yes, Ironwork Layering Stencil. So that makes sense. It looks like an iron fence. Um, so Dolly, so like a, or that might say doily. I don't know, I don't, I've got my glasses on, but the writing's so little, it's probably doily. So it looks like a lace doily. <laughs> and then a bouquet, so bigger flowers. And I got this one because I liked the pattern on there, but it also came with a few butterfly stamps. And so I thought, ooh, that's fun. Um, let's see what this says under that. Doesn't have a name, but it's mixed. So stencil and stamp set. THMM104 is the number on that one. But I thought that looked pretty and I liked the scrolly thing that was in this. See, it's got this pretty design like a little double design love that and then I've got flourish which is another one with the yummy whoosh and flowers and leaves and this one was beautiful called splash so I'm excited to use all those and I found another flower one that's almost identical but slightly different by craft treat uh, brimming blooms and then I had to look at it because I'm like, man, that's so close to the other. It isn't the same, but it's not. It's slightly different. So I'm actually excited to have two <laughs> stencils with these flowery things on it because I really love that one. So super fun. So that's my little stash of things that I bought um, outside of getting fun little mail here. So I actually got some brushes from, how do I even open this, from Rosemary and Company. And this is a company out of the UK, and I 
saw somebody announce on one of their YouTube channels that Rosemary and Company brushes were some of their favorite and that they were doing a second sale where you could order just a bundle of whatever brushes that they offer that were seconds. Um, and it was really cool because all the comments said, you know, on these said, oh, it's just like they knew me and sent me brushes just for me. And I thought, oh, that sounds fun, doesn't it? And then when I ordered these, I spent a little over $100, I think. So that is a lot of money. But when I ordered them, they sent me an email saying, what kind of paint do you do so that we can pull these brushes just for you? And I was like, oh my goodness, how exciting is that? And you know, I do mixed media stuff. So I was like watercolor with a lot of other stuff too. And so I'm kind of thinking that maybe this will be for like, <gasps> looky here. This is exactly where you get corrugated cardboard from when they send you stuff in packages. Save this piece. This is the best stencil. <laughs> Whoa! Look at all look at all of these brushes oh my gosh what i do with the scissors i see a gigantic quill brush in there already so yes yeah, so i'm actually very excited to see what they actually pulled just for me since they sent me an email saying what do you paint so we can pull things we think you'll like i'm like who does that what fun little personalized service out of that pretty sticker okay come off the tape Burr. all right we'll just tear it out of, the, out of these little packages that's all right holy cow okay so i spent a little over a hundred dollars but look at all the brushes that we got this is insane 27 brushes this was a seconds bundle, mixed hair, short handle. Uh, no, I don't see a receipt in there. Oh, they sent me a, a little hand written note. We hope you will enjoy your new bundle as if it was made especially for you. There are a lot of brushes to try and experiment with, so have fun. Happy painting. Oh, look at that. Okay, so look at all these. All right, yes, so I've got yummy yummy three quarter inch one stroke i'm really excited to see this great big uh, synthetic mop brush you know i like mop brushes so that one i think i'm really gonna love that and then it looks like a nice yummy variety of brushes we've got the large rosemary and company eradicator this looks like it'd be a good like I don't know, mark making brush and stuff. Look at this one. This one looks like a good, fun mark making brush. Stippler, maybe do something like that. Got some long, oh, look at that one. Oh, it's, like it's like a little rosemary and company round squirrel brush, but it's a little bit like a little bitty mop brush or maybe a leaf making brush. Ah, oh, look at this nice, fun, long brush. Oh, I like that. Okay, so lots of yummy little different shapes. It looks like most of these are different ones. And I think, you know, because look at that. That's pretty. Look at the handle on that. Holy moly. That is a beautiful little brush. Some of these are going to be photo props. <laughs> I don't even care if I use them. That right there is a pretty photo prop. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. Okay, that brush right there was worth quite a bit. And this one is a beautiful, could be a cool photo prop. I love the variety. They're beautiful. I can't wait to start using these as we go forward, as I throw a brush on the floor. <laughs> um, just the mop brushes in here totally made this bundle worth it for me. Look at those. Okay, so I'm really excited about the variety. Little tiny mark making. Look at that little tiny couple hairs. I don't even know how they make them that small. Um, so that was a fun bundle. I just wanted to mention uh, the Rosemary and Company because I was very impressed by what they sent. I'm very impressed by the number of brushes for a seconds bundle that we got uh, for the price that it was. And I don't think they offer these like all the time. Like I think they offer them and then probably sell out of them and then might offer them again at some point. But you might check out their site. I'll link it below and just see. And if you've got a seconds bundle and you can kind of think, oh, I think that might be fun. Um, it's a good way to try out a lot of brushes from a particular company. And I like that they email and say, what kind of brushes 
do you want? Do you want them for acrylic or oil paint or watercolor? I really loved that. Um, so that was totally worth it to me. I'm excited to add these to my brush collection and see what we can make. All right, so let's look at what else we got. Holy moly, that like right there starts you off on your brush thing. <laughs> okay, Sketchbox, October. Have not even peeped. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh. Sketchbox signature, acrylic ink, charcoal, blackberry, and goldenrod. Those are kind of like Halloween colors. <laughs> um, I, I love that they send you this. So this is the custom acrylic ink been specifically formulated to create a wide range of hues when intermixed. Okay. And then we've got a yummy Legion hot press watercolor pad perfect for wet media 140 pounds 10 sheets so i like hot press paper so i'm, I'm and i like to do um, little mini abstract projects so i love using their little papers for that oh yeah looky here oh higgins drawing ink in white opaque white okay so you know and i use the higgins um, black magic all the time so kind of excited to try the Higgins white. I actually don't have that and I've never tried it. I didn't even really realize that they made it in white or I probably would have already had that. The opaque white drawing ink offers highlights on its own or tints with mixed with other inks. And then I'm going to use it for mark making, obviously. <laughs> Fun little sticker. I love that they send a little sticker every month. And let's see, what do we have here? We have, oh, is this orange? I think it's orange yep an orange for halloween i guess kiritake by moji brush pen perfect for on the go ink work this is bristle tipped pen can create fun textural effects all right super cool this is the art primo hit and go high quality empty marker offers a three millimeter tip perfect for creating consistent lines so i'm assuming that i can put whatever I want to put in here. I wonder. I'm going to have to research on that because I'm almost wondering in my mind can I put my Kuretake gold ink in that? <laughs> um, we're going to have to see. We're going to have to look that up and see. And then a couple brushes. So we've got the signature liner brush and the dagger brush. Okay, I like that dagger brush. That's a nice size compared to the great big dagger brush that I've been using to make kind of abstract floral, floral, floral looking abstracts. It's a little bit smaller, so I think I'm going to enjoy that. So I'm definitely set for brushes. <laughs> okay, so that was our sketch box. Super fun. Let's see what Palettful sent us this month. Palettefuls have been, you know, hit or miss, but oh, look at that. So flat paints. Okay, so we'll call that a win because I've recently uh, got into the so flat paints, acrylic paints, because um, they're flat acrylic paint. And so we've got blue and permanent yellow, this ultramarine blue, permanent yellow and titanium white. Kind of surprised they didn't do like an Inktober theme, but little tiny surfaces, canvas panels. All right, so they also sent canvas panels as their surface to paint on, so that's fun. Oh, we got some brushes and a palette knife. The only colors I'm kind of surprised that they sent. I do like the sticker. Look how fun that sticker is. I am kind of surprised on the colors that we just have these three. But I've got some fun brushes. Two half inch Robert Simmons. I wonder if I got an extra brush <laughs> and it shouldn't have. And then um, Princeton Heritage rounds. So that's a great option. And then I use these like they're going out of style plastic palette knives. So I am very excited about that. Okay. That was a little hodgepodge range of stuff that we got today. So I think we'll just see what can we paint with a little bit of this paint and give something a try out here. I actually, we could mix. Let's just see. I got all these boxes in the way. You 
know I like to try stuff out when we get it. I've got some palette paper here. There we go. So I'm kind of thinking let's just use our hot press paper here. And I think I'll tape it down. All right, so I've taped a little piece of paper down. I probably should have put it on a board so I have to move it around. <laughs> and I think I'm going to just play and see what we've got today. Um, I've got a purple acrylic ink. And what I could do is, let's just see what these even are. Could mix that with some white so flat too. I'm reaching over for my brushes like I don't have lots of brushes right here. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. So I'm kind of feeling like maybe a little bit of this with the purple. Like maybe, maybe we could do something purpley here. All right, so I'm actually kind of feeling that. Okay, so I'm, I'm, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just move some ink around. I've got a little bit of water on my brush. I could put some water on the paper and let the ink really kind of do some fun stuff, but I'm just going to play and just see, you know, what, what can we create here? I'm not too worried about getting stuff in my paint, so don't worry about not worried about contaminating too much. All right, so I'm already... A lot of times I'll put a lot of water on the paper and spread the ink around and let it play and just see what we can get. So I'm kind of playing a little tiny bit differently with it this time. Just to see. Just cause. Why not? And I already know I like the So Flat paint because I like how flat it dries. I like that matte kind of feeling that you get from that. So I'm loving that. I could come back in with a tiny bit of orange. I don't know. Do we want to try? Let's see. Let's just tap a little bit down here on this paper and just see like do we want to just throw that in? Maybe just a tiny bit and just see if we even liked it, but it is a nice variation on here, so it's not all the same color. It's kind of fun. Okay. I like the brush, so this is a good brush. I'm liking it. Half inch. I like that. That's a good brush. Okay, so I do like those. What do we want to do for a little bit of stenciling? Kind of feeling it. <laughs> Almost wanting to do that orange. All right, so that was the craft treat little brims and brimming blooms that I just opened. And I could do white, could do a little bit of orange. I have to let this dry a little bit. And you know, acrylic ink is so thin, but I kind of want that as maybe some flowers. So Hmm. Maybe mixed with a little bit of white, perhaps, to make it thicker. Let's see. Let's do a little bit of this white over here. Let's see if I can. Oh, see, now that turns a weird color when you mix that. It's more of a yellowy. Hmm. I don't know. Super liquidy. Got a dry sponge. Let's just. Let's just try it. Ah, see, it's very liquidy. Not a lot, not, not super bright there. Now maybe I should have done the So Flat Blue instead. It's very liquidy too. These are very liquidy. Might not be the best stencil paints. I think I'm going to go back on here and make some, do some mark making. And just get some different little scrolls and scribbles going maybe. And I might cut this up. This could be yummy little hearts. So it might be a little heart day. Could mix up blue and yellow and make green if we wanted to have some green something, but I don't know. I'm kind of 
See, I don't think I want the orange. Do I want the orange in there? I mean, I could. We could just, let's just, let's just go for it. Oh, see, I do kind of like, I am kind of liking that, actually, now that we did some of that. All right, starting to feel it a little bit. Can definitely feel some little hearts coming out of here somewhere. And look what I did. I wanted to do this just so that we could check it out. I put the gold ink in the, this was the, um, the gold mica ink by Kiritaki. And I just took a pipette and piped that ink into my little Art Primo pen and then got it started. And it actually is working. Like I can make marks with that. Um, so that's another option too. Oh yeah, see, look at that, oh! That right there made the whole day just getting that ink to work in a pen. And you just kinda get it started like you do a Posca pen. And then we could make some little dots. So another option, if you don't wanna do a dip pen, look at empty markers and see can I fill that up with this ink and that's not to say that it's not going to dry in that tip and maybe it's going to be used once <laughs> that's quite possible but it was a very interesting experiment that at least for one time worked and I thought that was pretty cool um, and then too we've got this white ink kind of want to look at the white ink while we're in here and then before I knock all those over and I might just grab oh no we can just use the tip of this let's just look we'll use a dip pen because this is a it's a it's a dauber you can get ink up in there and we can push it around but we could also put it in our little regular dip pens and give it a test out for dots and stuff and a paintbrush you can put it on with paint I do like to kind of see like what's this going to do on future pieces of art for me so fun for a little experiment there and then always make sure you clean your nibs don't let those dry in there pulled that nib right out of there didn't I and then let's just see so that that was a pretty interesting bunch of supplies this week um, let's pull it maybe dry it I don't feel like I had enough colors or I don't know those weren't quite my colors to make a masterpiece <laughs> but I don't even mind because you know I love my little punches and we could immediately come over here and check out the punch and see what little punches we can make out of the Ooh, see now I kind of like that right there and now I can oh ho 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 see now those are fun and you know what I do with those I put them in my beautiful little dessert cup and I make little prompts out of them for my art that I can pull when I get stuck so check out those heart prompt art prompt videos and then get yourself a pretty little vessel and here's what I do with all the art that I don't love it when oh look at that one ooh, 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 that I don't love when I'm painting it but then I oh see that one right there but then, as I'm going, I can cut beautiful little hearts out of it. And you can make these as little gift tags. Ooh, I like that one. <gasps> Ooh, I really like that one now that it's cut out. You can make little gift tags. Look how shiny that ink is. You can include these in little cards as a little piece of art for somebody. Ooh, see right there, right there. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> And you can do all kinds of fun stuff with these so it's fun just to scribble paint on your thing just to make a few of these little heart prompts actually and experiment with your new supplies so I hope you enjoyed checking out today's art haul the rosemary and company brushes that I'm definitely super excited about those that was a lot of brushes. I feel like they really did pick those with me in mind. This great big mop brush. Totally excited to do a beautiful abstract watercolor with that. That's a beautiful brush. It's a number two synthetic mop. I love that. This one looks like a photo 
photo prop so that we can include that in beautiful photos that we take of our art. I love that. So I hope you enjoyed what we got from Palettefull, what we got from Sketchbox, our fun little stencil options that we have to play with, and I'll see you next time.